next guest from Silicon Valley. He also wrote and stars in the new film, The Big Sick, which is getting a ton of critical acclaim. Please welcome Kumail Nanjiani. Hey, hey, Sean Dressman, come on up here. I like that look, man. It's a very clean, very crisp look you got there. Thank you. It's fantastic. I'm, I'm the first person on the show that Donald Trump Jr. doesn't follow on Twitter. <laughs> I actually checked. I got excited. <laughs> I, that's what, when, when I found that he was followed, I checked and found out that I was followed. Maybe after tonight, maybe he will. Well, I'm going to tweet at him. You definitely should. Hey, can I get a follow back? <laughs> thanks, dude. You got you to end with the thanks, dude. You got to keep yeah, this Yeah, right? You got to be keep polite, this nice. right? Yeah. yeah. Well, thank well, you for having me. I love your show so much. It's been so good. Well, I, I, I love your show, and I'm excited. Thank you very much. I love Silicon Valley. And uh, we, people out there, I mean, I know we go way back. Uh, my old show was the first uh, TV show you were on, right? That's that correct. Where America Met You was you were underneath my desk. You came out from underneath my desk. <laughs> and now, like eight years, nine years later or something like that, you have a new movie. It's produced by Judd Apatow. It's called The Big Sick. Yeah. You wrote it. You star in it. Yeah. And um, where's my cut? Where's my... I've been sending you 20% for eight years. Oh, good. Yeah. Good. You're not getting the, the money? I'm sure Comedy Central's cashing the check over there. <laughs> now, uh, you and uh, your wife, Emily, wrote The Big Sick together. Uh, yes. Tell the good people what it's about. So my wife and I, uh, we wrote... It's based on the first year of our relationship, which is sort of what happened was um, while we were first dating, and my parents wanted me to get arranged marriage, married to a... A Pakistani woman. An arranged marriage? Like they would pick the girl? Yeah. Yeah. They would pick the girl. <laughs> You've heard the f phrase arranged marriage. Yeah, we're, but it just, it's uh... we're, st we're still at it. Okay. <laughs> didn't know, didn't know. Go ahead. Um, but then I, Emily and I started dating, and when we were first dating, just a few months in, she fell into a coma. And, uh, and uh, it's a comedy. I promise you, it is. How uh, long was she in a coma? She was in a coma for eight days, and I hung out with the parents for those eight days. I didn't really know them until then, and they're actually right over there right now. There they are. <laughs> but there hey. they are. You see them? Hi! Hi. There you go. Welcome. And, but she's fine. It's, it's, it's a comedy. It really is. I promise you. It, it is. It sounds like a not comedy, but it is a comedy. I believe you. I believe she's, you. She's, she's doing great. She's crushing it. Okay. Spoiler alert, she comes out of the coma. Okay. Eight days, little eight. coma. I don't know. Felt quite long at the time, Stephen. Like, eight days felt like a pretty sizable length for a coma. For me, ideal is zero. That's true. That's true, Mark. That's true. That's true. That's... I think that's sort of the best, yeah. Okay. So, I understand we have a, we have a, we have a clip here. What's happening in, in this clip? Okay, so I have to set up the clip. So, in the movie, by this point, um, so Emily's in the coma, and her parents are here, and uh, Emily and I just had a very contentious breakup, and her parents know about it. So, they kind of don't want me to be at the hospital anymore. They want me to go. Um, and wait, I'm... wait, you, you had a breakup before she went into the coma? Yeah, it wasn't that she went into a coma and I was like, this isn't working out. <laughs> You're funny. Kind of funny. I, I feel like I'm not getting much back right now. <laughs> I'm doing these jokes. You're not laughing at all. <laughs> so, uh, so, the, uh, so, so I've sort of been hanging around the hospital. Uh -huh. They want me to leave, I won't leave. And what you see is, this is the first conversation that we finally have, where I finally sit with them to eat, and it's been a couple days. And my character is a guy who makes, like, he makes the wrong joke all the time. Mm -hmm. Like, he's, he, he's not good with his feelings, so he tries to deflect it with jokes. Mm -hmm. So you'll see the first, and uh, Ray Romano and Holly Hunter play them. They play Emily's parents. Nice. <laughs> Very nice. And so... And this is you eating dinner together? Uh, lunch at the hospital cafeteria. This is our first conversation together. Jim. So, 9-11. Uh, yeah. 
No, I mean, I've always wanted to have a conversation with about it with people. You've never talked to people about 9-11? No, what's your, what's your stance? What's my stance on 9-11? Oh, um, anti. So there's a tragedy. I mean, we lost 19 of our best guys. Huh? Tragedy, obviously. 9-11 was a terrible tragedy. And it's not funny to joke about it. No. <laughs> I want to say that uh, that is not what my wonderful father-in-law asked me <laughs> when, he fir when we first spoke. Okay, okay. He warmed up to it. I'm right. joking. <laughs> he never asked me that. What about, what about your folks? How do they feel? They're depicted in the movie, too, I assume. Yeah, okay. they're, they're uh, very excited. Uh, the person who plays my dad in the movie, uh, his name's Anupam Kerr, and he's the... Oh, there's yeah. some care heads in the house. <laughs> He, uh, uh, he, he's a Bollywood legend. Mm -hmm. This was, this, he's like Robert De Niro of India. This was his 500th film that he was in. And I just saw him tweet yesterday. He said, just completed my 510th film. I was like, you did 10 films? <laughs> I haven't seen 10 films since then. <laughs> so when we were casting, I asked my dad, I was like, who do you want to play you? And he said, Anupam Kher. And I was like, all right. Good luck to me, I guess. But then we were able to get him, and my dad visited the set, and they got a picture together. And then, yeah, and then a week later, my dad called me, and he was like, I put it on Facebook. I'm up to 92 likes. He's blowing up. He's blowing up. Nice to see you again. Thanks so much Thanks for being for here. Having me. The Thank Big you. Sick is in theaters this Friday. Kumail Nanjiani, everybody. We'll be right back.